before the video starts, I just want to let you know, thank you guys so much for 1,800 subscribers and over 100,000 views. That is insane. Thank you guys so much for that once again. And uh, also, I had to talk kind of low in this video because my parents are sleeping and uh, I don't want to wake them up. So turn your sh volume shit all the way up to in order to hear me. So yeah, enjoy the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Strong Skins, back at it again today with another video. I haven't done that intro in a long ass time, I'll tell you that. But... Um, many of y'all requested um, for me to make this app edit I made um, a couple of days ago, uh, Mike Evans. Um, y'all liked the way I did the background and shit like that, so I might as well show y'all how I did it, because why not? Um, the only thing is, uh, skin is not apps, um, which is okay, because you could just look up this skin. I recommend using this skin for um, if you want to just do it all apps, and if not, you could just do a Topaz skin, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's get right into the edit. So first thing you want to open up uh, Superimpose and then import your background as your skin picture right here. Okay. Now once you've done that, you want to uh, go to foreground and then enter it again. You're basically going to be uh, masking your player out. I'm not going to show you that step, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, basically, put your background layer as uh, saturation under oh no uh, blur to whatever it doesn't matter, and then go to mask and then. Uh, hit the uh, masking tool brush and just started coloring over your player and once you have done and you blur out your whole entire player hit this button right here and then um, hit over here this uh, thing the arrow shit and then it says mask as PNG alright so do that and then you know um, that will mask your player out and then I'll show you all what's next after that alright so once you have your mask player you want to uh, go to superimpose uh, info background again and put it as your uh, skin player okay alright now once you're here um, import it again and basically put the background no put the foreground as uh, saturation zero and then emerge it Okay, now you want to go into foreground, uh, import as foreground. This effect I will link in the description. Um, this one right here. Um, so once you load it in, you want to hit this arrow thing to fill it in, and then put it on screen. Okay. Now once you've done that, you want to put it on saturation all the way to zero. Okay. Now I'll hit merge. Okay. So the next effect you want to use is uh, this one. Um, you can also put it on screen if you'd like. You don't have to, but I'm putting it on screen because it looks cool. And then basically center it however you want it. And uh, make sure it is on station uh, zero. All right. Now merge that again. Then the next effect, everything will be listed in the description. Okay. Just click the link and it will show you all the effects. All right. So hit that. Uh, then put this effect on multiply. All right, as you can see there and then now the next effect you will need the player uh, team or logo um, or color doesn't matter but I'm gonna do the logo uh, so you can see here we're gonna do the Buccaneers so once you load it in you wanna uh, make sure it fits the screen and then tilt it to where it fits like the like that looks good to me right there okay now put that on soft light okay now this is optional you not have to put this effect in it but you can if you want um, it's this effect right here let me get to it this one um, it just makes it like pop out a little bit more as you can see but make sure you lower it because you don't want to do it too much and then merge that as well and then the next step is to add your uh, PNG of your player okay make sure he is on normal and put all the way up see there you go alright so once you've done that you want to save it completely and then exit out and then go back into superimpose and then do the trick I told y'all <clears throat> where you uh, put the edit on top of the edit and then you put it on soft light as you can see there and then put it on um, saturation to zero and there you go there's your edit your app all app not all app but like app edit um, background um, yeah that's basically what y'all requested for me to do it's that easy um, if you want to add your watermark just get the app Fonto as you can see here just load it in and then uh, go to photo albums click it oh, wait I didn't even save it but anyway I'm gonna show y'all hold up 
and then you just hit the uh, picture and it says add text. So that's what you got to do. Um, so yeah, it's been a video. Please subscribe if you are new. Please leave a like if you did enjoy and it helped you out. And uh, please make sure you follow my Instagrams um, at Strong's Graphics and Strong Skins. Uh, yeah, it's been a video, guys. Peace out.